Hi there, Kawa here. Alright guys, we're going to uh, start this off uh, real quick. So, uh, we're going to talk about the weekly events for this week. And this should be a relatively quick video because there's not too much to talk about except for uh, what we have down here, which is the Edo Jinchiriki treasure, which is uh, featuring Fu. Uh, there's not really too much to really talk about here because she's not that great of a unit. Uh, I don't suggest anyone to go crazy and, you know, pull her like you know if you know force yourself to pull her with you know seal scrolls that you don't have or you can't afford because she really doesn't do too much the only unique uh trait that she actually has that kind of gets replaced later on is that she has a passive barrier that doesn't allow people to gain chakra outside of uh, naturally gaining it from round starting so that means like you can't use like mabui you can't use like the earth main to just gain chakra she was created mainly to counteract uh, Kakuzu's skill breaks and uh, the fourth Raikai gay, uh, A's. So, you know, you can't spam their stuff. But the barrier gets replaced later on with Edo Minato's one, where he does the uh, barrier with the other Kage's. That one does literally the same thing, um, but on a better unit. So, I won't suggest anyone go super crazy on Fu. Uh, she really wasn't that great. Like, the other unique thing I remember about her is that her standard attack... Oh, was that her... No, I think it was her chase. It was like, yeah, her chase, uh, it, it hits the per primary person, and it does dam... It does, like, splash damage to, like, one spot over for the unit... Uh, for the surrounding area of the unit. Nothing super amazing. I won't go crazy over it, but hey, they at least released this, uh, treasure. There's only Han left, if I remember correctly. Uh, he's not too impressive either, but hey, we're at least finally getting them. Alright, so moving forward. Uh, the weekly units are Susano Sasuke, again? Uh, Edo Tensei Itachi, uh, Six Path Naruto, and... Is this a typo? First Hokage Hashirama? Interesting. Um... Maybe this is a good chance for me to 5-star him, <laughs> uh, depending where he is. Alright, so this is on top of the treasure. The two main targets here are Fu and Yagura Edo Tensei. Uh, so yeah, for people who don't have Seal Scrolls to spare, I won't suggest you to waste your time on this treasure. Uh, though I might actually do some pulls so I can get my uh, Yagura over to uh, 4 stars. He's like about, I think, 40 frags away, so maybe... I can, you know, burn some seals and pull it off, um, but I'm not too sure if I want to do it yet. I I'm considering it, but maybe not. Alright, so this week we have a total recharge rebate. Uh, I'm just going to suspect that they probably put Itachi in here again. Uh, or they just put, uh, like, the generic stuff, like, you know, uh, Ultimate Essence and, you know, some Miyaboku stuff, you know generic stuff. That's probably the best way to go about it though, if they put like the generic stuff in here. It's more um, tempting for spenders who already have the said units. So we have a spending rebate also with the... Oh, well, we have two spending rebates because we have Colorful Balloon up here and we also have the daily spending rebate. The daily spending rebate is the one that gives the uh, Mount Miyaboku stuff and uh... Uh, or did it change it? I think it, it, they changed it to bells or something? Or whatever. It gave, uh, it gives decent stuff. And then we get the uh, colorful balloons to work with. Uh, I'm pretty sure one of these guys are probably in he colorful balloons. Uh, I think it's probably Susan Sasuke in colorful balloons. He's showing up multiple times in there. Uh, maybe I can finally get that book of his. But, eh, I still if I really find a spend. Uh, okay, so we have Sakura's Gift. Uh, this is, you know, the one where you give for food. Uh, I personally do not like this event. I don't participate in, in it most of the time. Uh, creeping suspicion is that Naruto is in here. Yeah, Naruto's probably in here. And then we have the time limited uh, ninja recruitment with the keys. Uh, Itachi is probably in here. Uh... Or it might be, you know, uh, Itachi's in the Sakura's gift and Naruto's in the time limited recruitment. Uh, we also have Great Plates. Uh, we haven't seen this event in a 
good while. It's been over a month because uh, my bond scrolls built up, and I know I always use my bond scrolls during one of these weeks. Um, I don't think they're gonna put anything super amazing in here for us to grab. Uh, I could be wrong though, but this is why it's very uh generous to free to play players. You don't really have to do anything you know crazy to get some um, free stuff out of it, and. Overall, it's a relatively good event, and I was amazed I didn't see it for a good while. And we have, let's see, uh, time limited charm rebate. I kind of lost track. Was it? Uh, I I feel like this was this is one week earlier than it's supposed to be, um, but I also kind of lost track. So it's very possible um, it, it is on the correct cycle. So we have this new thing, uh, the cultivation limited rebate, uh, the one for the five nature's training. Uh, but do know that uh, it says here that the cultivation only counts uh, if ingots and coupons are used. Using the cultivation scrolls do not count towards it. I don't know uh, what the thresholds on the payouts are on this and what it actually gives. Um, I'm not too familiar with this event myself and we're going to have to look into it tomorrow. But uh, overall, this system doesn't give too much power. Uh, if you have coupons to spend and you don't have anywhere better to spend it you could kind of spend it here but I personally don't suggest it too much uh, but it also depends on what the thresholds are if the thresholds are um, good then it'll be worth doing it if not then I would just pass on it uh, Naruto's Froggy is always a good event in my opinion especially if you have the ingots to put into it uh, you want to always put into the highest one and then the lowest one the ones that uh, give you back coupons because it gives you more than what you put into it by a lot and um, overall uh, it's a great event and usually it marks the week that, uh, that the following week it's going to be uh, Fukumaru so it just gives you a nice little cushion of coupons to work with uh, Konoha Outlets I feel like this was two weeks ago or am I remembering wrong that we just had this I think we just had this recently uh, I don't usually buy anything in here, but last time they had the Miyaboku uh, training packs were relatively cheap, so uh, I was buying them. Um, if they do it again, I might consider buying them, um, but not 100% sure yet because you know there is two spending rebates. There is technically a there's a recharge rebate, two spending rebates, uh, Froggy, and we have Fukumaru coming up, so I don't want to spend too much. Uh, activity lucky bag. This is really just the, for the free to play unit players. Uh, you just do stuff and they give you like random free stuff. It's really good for the lower level servers. Um, I know a lot of people don't like it that you know events. We have these type of events, but you have to be considerate that you know there are newer servers that don't have the stuff that we have, and they do need these type of events to get um, you know low level refines and you know magatamas and stuff like to them this event is beautiful to us long time players uh, we, we don't really care but it, it doesn't hurt for them to have these type of events to help out newer servers so I did notice that I can't pinpoint exactly where this Hashirama is um, I am very interested in it where he is because like I said I went to uh, 5 star him and potentially um, get some of his frags to hold for his books. Uh, I already have his uh, Ninja God book, so my buff is uh, not removable, but I do want to get some of his books for the uh, standard attack. I think that's the only other book we have right now, right? It's just a standard attack, uh, because the other ones are like skill trials. But yeah, I think he's probably in... It's probably in the time limited ninja recruitment. Probably. Uh, all these units here don't interest me at all, other than the Hashirama. Um, it's kind of funny how, you know, these premium units I already have. So I don't really, I'm not really interested in them, and I have no intention of adding more stars to them. Uh, but Hashirama, he becomes really good down the line, and uh, I feel like it's a good chance for me to collect some of his frags. All in all, this is a relatively decent week, especially for spenders. There is uh, two two spending rebates, one recharge rebate, and um, 
a froggy which is going to prep you for uh, Fukumaru next week. So all in all, it's really good for spenders. It's kind of mediocre of a week for uh, non-spenders because there's not too much in the free section this week. Uh, but you can look forward to Fukumaru next week. So for those players who are free to play or just really low spending, you could just uh, hold on to all your coupons and wait for next week when Fukumaru comes by. Alright, so yeah, that's um, that's really it for the events. There's nothing really uh, super amazing this week, outside of the fact that we got this overdue treasure. Uh, the unit's not good, though, so I wouldn't go crazy about over it. But yeah, that's more or less the review. Alright, guys, talk to you later.